Hey guys, there's another JYB tip of the day. It's going to be covering on the credit cards. Um, I've already covered on the Sapphire Reserve and we're going to do this again. Um, and we're going to add another credit card um, to this, which is going to be the Southwest Rapid Rewards by Chase. Um, two good things uh, about this is going to be on the grocery, the grocery category. So Sapphire Reserve. They're allowing 3% uh, cash back on all groceries all the way through, I believe, April, um, $1,000 a month. So if you spend it on groceries, you'll get 3% um, cash back on it. Now, the bonus part of this is on top of that 3%. So if you spend $100, you get $3 worth. Now, if you convert that into travel, it's actually worth $4.50 worth of travel credits. And also what they're doing right now due to the pandemic and not everyone's able to travel is they're allowing you to use that on grocery bills and dining restaurant bills. So if you have a bill for, you know, let's say $10 um, that you spent, um, then you could use your rewards. Um, so on the Sapphire Reserve, um, you get you know, $10 uh, reward uh, collectively, then you could use it on any dining or grocery purchase of, you know, roughly the math will be about $14.50. Um, you know, so you get additional coverage on that. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you about today mainly um, is because of this Southwest uh, Rapid Rewards credit card they are they are offering until the end of the year december 31st of 2020 so we don't have a lot of time left until the end of the year they're offering five percent cash back on groceries for mileage uh, which is a great value i believe so what i did is um one of the grocery shops that we go to is trader joe's uh, we go to shop at a lot of the uh Korean markets as well, like, um, you know, H Mart, Hanam Chain, uh, Zion, um, and also, you know, all the grocery stores like Ralph's, Founds, Pavilions, um, Stater Brothers, Albertsons, uh, you name it. Um, so, what I did today is because I prefer uh, Trader Joe's over all those uh, places, I went out and got myself some Trader Joe's gift card. Now, something about Trader Joe's gift card is their maximum used to be $200. It is now $100 per card. That's why there is a stack of them here instead of one card with a large lump sum in there. So what I did is got those gift cards. I charged it on my Chase Southwest credit card and I will be receiving 5% mileage. So I spent $1,000 on gift cards. I'll be receiving 5,000 miles. Um, that is good for, uh, depending on time of the flight and all, but you know, if I've seen um, round trip fares to Vegas uh, for just slightly above 5,000. Um, so that could be a savings upwards of, you know, 100 to $150. If you spent $1,000 with the 3% cash back, that's worth, um, actually $30 and then if you get the uh, 1.5 travel credit like on the Sapphire Reserve that'll be worth $45 so it's actually uh, a lot better of a deal um, on the Southwest to use on groceries and plus South, um, on the Sapphire Reserve I use it as a, as a purchase at any other grocery store so you know for the gift card I went ahead and used it at Trader Joe's plus it's expiring in about you know, in about a week. Uh, but with these gift cards, what's going to happen is I have until the end of whatever to uh, use those gift cards. Only one bad sign though. You know, I got to let you know all the pros and cons. The one bad thing is I'm stuck with this thousand dollars worth of Trader Joe's gift cards. Now, if they happen to go bankrupt tomorrow, these are probably worth nothing. Although they'll probably um, allow me to cash these in at some point um, as it happened with Toys R Us when they went um, belly up. Um, so, but that is the one negative side and one side effect that might have is if you don't use these up and they go belly up and you miss the window to cash these in when they do go belly up, then you're kind of stuck with these and you lost your value. But I don't see that happening anytime in the future um, and even when they do you know I know I have outs so just wanted to let you know all the ins and outs so that's it that's your tip of the day hope you enjoy it save you some money and uh, next time I get a chance to save you some more money I'll be back with another video so thanks for listening see ya